guys welcome back to mojo grip what i have in front of me here is the r66 turbine helicopter by robinson you can see the price tag there okay let's let's do a good uh quick 360 of this chopper shall we okay uh, if you're unfamiliar with robinson they're probably the most popular name in rotorcraft or helicopters okay and this here is a more utility aircraft because you can carry people um, you have seats up to five I would say more like four but you can probably sit uh, five people in here okay and as you can see, let me step back a little bit. This is not your average size helicopter. You can see how long it is. Um, the helicopter is turbine powered. There's a Rolls Royce engine in there, 300 horsepower. You just go around here. Now, in terms of the performance, um, you can climb over a thousand feet or about a thousand feet a minute and you're cruising north of 120 miles per hour this is with max load okay you pack this thing up with people in there and you can still cruise at 120 miles per hour now speaking of that engine here goes your your Rolls Royce engine in here see the model is RR 300 300 horsepower Okay, a uh, little beast in there. <laughs> Alright, turbine usually means costly in terms of the price of the engine, but you also know that turbines are very, very reliable compared to piston engines. Okay, let me get a shot of the, the rotor blades. Okay, this is a two-bladed rotor system. Uh, this thing is huge. <laughs> Okay, and right here you've got some baggage room. It says on the uh, on the door there that you can fit up to uh, 300 pounds of stuff in here. It's a lot. Hell, you can fit people in here. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, according to the stat sheet, um, with full fuel, this helicopter will carry. 927 pounds of people all right so it is a true utility helicopter you can you can pack it up and go places and getting in and out obviously would not be a problem you've got literally four doors like a car you know you can get in on either side of the helicopter again there is more than enough seat in here uh, get four people in here and you should be fine all right. I even love the, the way the doors are shaped at an angle, as you can see. Again, that's that's to make the, the getting in and getting out uh, quite easy. All right, guys. So I'm just going to go through the interior here. Um, okay, so getting in is quite easy. You've got a bar to hold here. All right. As you can see, I'm sitting in the back here. Lots of... <laughs> Look at the leg room up there. Like, I actually think it's it's more comfortable being a pilot in this helicopter than being a passenger. But that said, there's a lot of room back here. Like I said, you can sit up to five, but probably will sit more, more like four comfortably. But let's go up front. Let's go up front. Let me show you. Okay. Here we are. Man, I, I wish I was a helicopter pilot because, I mean, I can stretch my legs. There's so much, so much room here. Look, this is where it starts all the way. Uh, and you should know that this cabin is almost 60 inches wide. Okay, that's how big it is in here. Now this helicopter, the R66, equipped with the Garmin Avionics. If you need a utility helicopter, uh, definitely want to be looking at this 
very nice interior. I'm not sure what missions you'd be using this for, but uh, you've got a ton of stuff here. I'm trying to look at what this pull handle is. It says brake on it. I'm not to reverse a helicopter, so I'll be asking what that brake is for. There you have it, guys. This here is the Robinson R66. Turbine powered, has a Rolls Royce engine. Uh, very neat a helicopter.